beautiful day today. It is Wednesday, and after a night of pretty good thunderstorms, we got nice sunny blue skies. So, what have I been up to? Probably not as much as I would have liked. <laughs> We've been um, watching Xander the last few days. Um, it's been really, really fun. Uh, but it has kind of uh, hindered my camper projects. But he went home yesterday, so I was able to do a little bit last night. And then today I'm going to do a little bit more, but I'm really just taking it easy. Um, <gasps> I pushed myself pretty hard. And now I'm just on the, I'm just relaxing. So, with that being said, I'll show you what I've been working on. So a few days ago, I got the countertop glued to the wood frame, and it cut okay. This stuff's kind of hard to cut, so it does have a little bit of nicks, if you will, here and there, but overall it went okay. I got the sink put in. Uh, I still have to do all like the plumbing type stuff for the sink, but if you guys have to build one of these, um, the, these little clips that come with the sink, I put them in the vise and bent them, they're normally bent this way, so I bent them completely the other way and that way they work. So this thing's nice and solid and not going anywhere, but it did take a little bit of trickery. Um, the countertop didn't cut out as good as I wanted, so I'm hoping some caulking in the color black around the edge to seal that up will work perfectly. And Sam and I worked on getting the first coat on most of the camper, I, I can't remember what day that was, Sunday night maybe, and now, I last night worked on getting the second coat on some places um some places only got the first coat though so like this part here um i think the back's done so i can move that over so i can get the top but the front of that got its first coat last night let me turn on the lights in here for you guys my led light should come tomorrow today or tomorrow so yeah i guess it could use another third coat but uh, it's looking a lot better. You can just kind of see it showing through. Here's this side. Um, the cabinets are going to need a lot of work because not only are, you know, this is two coats on this cabinet, but we're also going to have to, uh, I think they're kind of glued together there. There we go. I also have to get the inner edge and the back side so of both of these. So the cabinets though are gonna need this whole area it's gonna need a third coat in the back there. It's gonna need a more. But I think the I think everything will get a third coat. Will be about good, but it's a decent just semi gloss. And uh, it feels really a lot cleaner in here having it this way. So I'm, I'm really happy with it. Um, yeah, so as soon as all that gets finished, it'll look really, really nice and clean in here. And uh, those white, if you will, flower pattern cushions are going to look really nice. But, yeah. Thought I would give you guys a, a look at how this is turning out. It really does brighten it up though. Like at night time when you flip these lights on. They, it really did brighten up the dark corner which was that side. And uh, it looks phenomenal. Um, trying to think of what else. So probably today when I come home I'm going to work on getting that third coat put on there. And... Uh, have to start painting the the uh, box as well, getting that a good a good one. But I think I've went through about a third of that paint, so I really haven't gone through a ton of paint, which is nice. 
but uh, this has turned out nice. Now what I have to do is I have to, I'm not worried about this side, but I have to figure out, this is a, a three quarter inch coarse thread. I'm going to bring this into Menards. I got to find a fitting that goes on here that, and then I have to take a little piece of the um, water hose that's already in there, and I gotta, you know, get a fitting for this and a fitting for that. And got a lot of work, <laughs> but uh, overall, I think that this is turning out good. And even if the sink isn't functional for our first trip out, that's fine. But um, it's, I'm gonna want it to be eventually. Um, other than that, I was doing research on this trailer, and for this trailer, um, I'm going to have to bring it in and have them look at it, and able for me to get it re-registered. Um, so that's going to be really fun. I don't know what they look at, so if someone out there knows, someone told me to take these amber lights off, so I'm going to do that. Um, but if somebody knows of what passes and what fails, I tried doing research on it, I couldn't find any. Essentially, they have to verify that it is a home-built trailer, which, if you look at it, it's a home-built trailer, <laughs> through and through, so, I don't know, I can't believe that I even have to do such a thing, but I do. Anyways, a little water. Overall though, um, the only thing left on this, some fenders. I got a new bolt lock for the inside of the door. Got some of these little levelers. And this thing's pretty much ready to go. Um, it has a heavy smell of wood, like fresh wood, on the inside, so I do have to air it out before I go duck on it. Yeah, she smells really uh, like a fresh plywood, you know. So, I do have to air it out, but I'm excited to see how, how it performs on our trip. It feels really solid, so I'm hoping that it is truly solid and... Uh, Drives down the road real nice. So we'll find out, that's for sure. Do I have a friend in my garage? I think I do. Psych. <laughs> Anyways. <sighs> that's all I got. So yeah. I'm gonna get busy out here and probably work on painting that kitchenette area. But turning out very very well and I did fix it um, it was a little bit wider before so I ended up taking it all apart and uh, and uh, moving all the 2 by 4s down so that it is just truly 4 feet wide and it worked out really nice so I'm very happy with how it turned out uh, so I think I'm going to start painting it though seems like a good day to be painting outside of the camper and then tonight when it cools down I'll go in the camper but, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys, and talk to you later.